with Mark Gomez, City of Oakland Public Works Agency. I'm the supervisor for environmental protection and compliance for the City of Oakland. Uh, my group oversees environmental compliance for all of the city's operations, and so that includes uh, facilities out of which we run our paint shops or um, heavy equipment. It also includes overseeing real estate transactions. How has Oakland used and benefited from the United States Environmental Protection Agency's Brownfield Grants Program? So Oakland, in general, has been very successful at getting money from the US EPA Brownfields Program since its inception. I don't think Oakland's unique, but I think Oakland's been uh, more successful than a lot of other municipalities in obtaining grant funding, and I think um, that's at least in part attributable to the fact that we've done some good work with the grant monies that we have received from EPA and they recognize that. Uh, they know that uh, we're not going to waste the money. One of the things that, um, yeah. again, removing yeah. the uncertainty associated with contamination does well, is it frees up uh, the lending institutions, banks and others uh, to, to, release, to release funds. And so uh, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of it's a hypothetical question whether or not these projects would have gone forward. I suspect some of them would have and some of them maybe would not have. Um, the, the <clears throat> one of the keys um, for any of the lending institutions to uh, put money towards a project, and most projects are not self-funded by the developer, uh, is that they have some sort of um, regulatory closure from an environmental standpoint. And so what we've tried to do in Oakland is uh, do kind of the, a lot of the heavy lifting around getting that regulatory closure and, in, and removing that impediment towards lending. And, and I think that that's, that's played a key role in a lot of these developments. How does Oakland compare to neighboring Emeryville? I think Emeryville's uh, a very unique animal. Uh, it's, a, it's a small city uh, with a small population. Um, and had a history of being almost entirely industrial. Uh, the city of Oakland is much more diverse. It's bigger. Um, you have a history of uh, a lot more residential uh, and residential right up next to industrial. Um, you have a history of um, neighborhoods that have gotten the short end of the stick from federal projects. Um, if you go back to the 1950s and 1960s. So I think that uh, it's just a completely different dynamic in Oakland. What should residents do if they're concerned about contamination on their block? My recommendation for residents who are concerned about sites in their neighborhood, particularly West Oakland residents, is uh, that they con contact us or they contact others who are involved in the many uh, brownfield working groups. Well, I mean, y you bring up the the issue of backyard farming, and I do have a, a serious concern related to that, which is that uh, in many parts of West Oakland, uh, just from aerial deposits from the use of leaded gasoline, in the surface soils there are significant levels of lead, and we just don't want to encourage people to grow uh, vegetable gardens and eat the vegetables uh, in those locations. My recommendation and the recommendation of many that that are involved in this is, is to get planter boxes and bring in clean soil, uh, clean topsoil from somewhere else. And, and I think that that's a very cheap solution. Um, and, uh, you know, it also uh, relieves you the, of the, the cost of having to sample the soil. How does economic development impact the local environment? Uh, the reality is that cleanup tends to happen as part of redevelopment and um, without uh, the redevelopment there's not money to do the cleanup and that's just a fiscal reality so uh, what, what we we try to do is uh, again assess what level of contamination is there provide that information um, to prospective developers and um, in some cases if, if the cleanup is uh, uh, minor enough, or if we have the funds, we'll, we'll perform the cleanup ourselves.
ABC Smith Dahl reporting for Oakland Local.